Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the Southern Oregon Weather Midweek Update. We certainly have a taste of spring today and tomorrow, but are we still expecting weekend rain and snow? We'll talk about that, and we'll also discuss if we're still expecting a cooler and wetter second half of March. So, currently, according to uh, the latest NOAA soundings, Medford has reached 66 degrees. Might even be a few degrees warmer than that. Um, so quite spring-like temperatures, and that's going to continue into tomorrow. You see here the Weather Channel is calling for a Thursday high of 68 degrees. But once again, nighttime temperatures are cooling off. So for, for skiers especially, that will um, help moderate some of the slushy conditions up on the mountain. We have the state championships going on over the next few days up on Mount Ashland. So good to know that conditions will be a little bit firmer in the morning because we're still expecting those pretty cool temperatures overnight. But I would expect for you skiers who are racing up on the mountain um, to see uh, slushy conditions again tomorrow. However, it does look like uh, going into Friday and Saturday, we could see quite a cool down. So this is the GEFS um, this after for this afternoon you can see these orange and red colors contributing to our warmth and our dry conditions right now but here's our next weather maker in the Gulf of Alaska all of these blue colors those are set to to push in to Oregon by Friday afternoon so here's a loop of the GFS the American forecast model and you can see starting at about Friday afternoon, we have rain and snow moving into the area and continuing um, until about Sunday afternoon. Now, most of this precipitation is associated with the, with the initial frontal band passing through, and then we have some light showers continuing after that. So I'd expect most of the action to happen on Friday night, but we could see some clouds and light showers hanging around through Saturday and maybe even into Sunday morning. Now, what are we expecting in terms of snowfall for the mountains for all you skiers and snowboarders out there? Well, it looks like the WRF, which, as we've mentioned before, is usually a little too optimistic. That model is calling for uh, broadly two to four inches over the southern Oregon Cascades and Siskiyous, and it's suggesting that some areas get lucky and maybe hit six or seven inches. I think that's definitely on the high side, but two to four inches... Uh, through Friday and Saturday is probably a reasonable bet. In terms of snow levels, uh, we're looking at snow levels starting between four and 5,000 feet and then lowering down to um, possibly 2,000 feet. However, as is typical with some of these springtime systems, oftentimes by, by the time the cold air arrives, sending snow levels down, then most of the precipitation is ended. So for, for higher terrain, I would definitely expect to see some snow, um, but for the the lower foothills, um, there might not be any snow or just a little dusting at best. So what happens after our weekend system moves through? Well, this is the GEPS from days 5 through 9. And you can see, once again, this is the Canadian Ensemble. You can see these orange colors once again showing up over Oregon. We have two branches to the jet stream. Um, those are upper-level winds that drive weather patterns around the globe. Um, and we can see the, the northern branch of the jet, um, the, the poleward jet, shifting to the north here. And then we have this, the southern branch, the subtropical jet, um, down here moving into California. And it looks like Oregon will kind of be in the middle of those two branches of the jet stream. So it looks like after our system moves through, we could see some clouds, maybe some light rain and snow showers hanging around, possibly into Monday or Tuesday. But then it looks like we could see a return to warmer and drier conditions with highs getting back up into the low 60s for the valleys. However, this is the GEPS by days 10 through 14. And you can see over those four days, days 10 to 14, the blue colors have returned to the west coast. And that means the GEPS is calling for a return to cooler and better conditions on average across all of its model runs within the ensemble by mid-month. So 
we'll have our weekend system come through, maybe warming up by the middle and end of next week, and then possibly more systems arriving once again. Here is our PNA index, the Pacific North American index. In the last video, we talked about how this is a, a good indication of whether there will be troughing and storminess along the West Coast and Oregon, because there's a pretty strong correlation in, in the springtime for troughing along the West Coast and the PNA index. So this suggests that the GEPS uh, could be right, that even if we do see a brief warm up next week, there could be some more storm systems to follow. So we have a taste of spring until Friday, uh, but then we have a weekend system bringing pretty light rain and snow to the area. Once again, probably about two to four inches for the Southern Oregon Cascades and Siskiyous in terms of snowfall. And these cool temperatures and showers could possibly hang on into early next week, but it looks like there'll be a drier and warmer period followed uh, once again by perhaps some more systems. Honestly, looking at the models today, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, confidence, big changes from model run to model run. And I think that's because maybe some of the models are struggling with what to do with the MJO, the Madden-Julian Oscillation. Um, stay tuned. We will talk more about the MJO this weekend for the weekend update. So don't forget to set your notifications. This was a little bit of a shorter video, but we'll, we'll dive deeper this weekend. And please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the forecast for today.